Now we are focusing on creating the upload photo async and also the add photo. And using the upload photo async, we have to create a path. So we create a constant path is equal to photos. And we using the date as our name. And then we return the new parameters. So we will pass the URI to here. And then we change it to Bob. And then we create the upload task. And actually, you can find this code inside the Firebase document. So, upload on state change. If there is an error, we reject the error. And then if this is OK, then we get the download URL error. And, and later on, we will put it inside the Firebase, real-time database, and also the Firestore. And then we go to the add photos. After we record in the real-time database, we also record it in our Firestore. So now these two functions already created. Now we go to the app.js and start importing the Firebase functions to our app. So we go to the top and then we import the fire from fire. And then we are going to create a handle photo functions which is the upload functions. And then we call the fire.shared and you will see there is add photos. And we already have the image file here so we can put the image inside the add photo functions and and then After it successfully upload the image, we want to set the image to no. And if there is error, we want to catch the error.
and so we can go to the upload button and we buy the functions to here so we can save this now we try to upload a photo so we choose a photo and then we press upload and you see the photos already here and we can check the database and let's see the file store and you see it already make a record here and if we look at the real time database and in the firebase real time database you can also see the photos already recorded inside here so you can see it already successfully record in the, both the real time database and also the fire store